Hi, I'm Tim from Zero Mod. We're here today to compare the Chinese copy Rickenbacker and the real Rickenbacker. Chinese copy, often called Chickenbacker, but I prefer Chinabacker. In any case, let's look at some of the obvious differences. At first glance, very much like a Rick, except that it has quite a bit more headstock pitch than a Rick does. The neck is a little bit thinner at the nut than a Rick, about an eighth of an inch, a little more than a sixteenth, less than an eighth, but a quarter inch thicker at the base of the neck, more like a P-base fan out. The body is a quarter inch thicker than a Rick body, with a strange bevel on the side. It's also basswood, not maple. A real Rickenbacker is neck through body, all maple neck and body. The China backer is a maple neck with a basswood body neck glued in. Contrasted to our real Rickenbacker. You can see a bit of a difference in the layout. Some other fairly noticeable differences. Under the hood, the Chinese Rickenbacker has a single truss rod. Rickenbackers have a double truss rod. Another issue, the China backer has two extra notes. It goes up to an F instead of an E flat, which is kind of interesting. On the electrical side, the China backer has what looks like a toaster pickup. It's actually a little ceramic magnet humbucker. And the bridge pickup, though you can't see it too easily, is more like a music man with very large pull pieces, non-adjustable, unlike a Rickenbacker, which has their classic high-gain single-coil pickup with adjustable pull pieces in both positions. Only the older Ricks have the toaster. The bridge on the China Backer is a little more evolved, surprisingly beefy, but it lacks the necessary radius to match the fingerboard, an obvious manufacturing mistake, which you can correct by adding a couple of shims to the D and A string saddles. Wiring wise, the China Backer comes wired like a Gibson Les Paul, which doesn't really help you with a Rick. Rick wiring is designed to allow blending of the pickups. So, one of the things you may want to do, as I did to mine, is change the wiring around so you get full blending between neck and bridge pickup when you want it. Oh, in case you were curious, I covered the name up because they make it a complete name copy. They actually say Rickenbacker made in USA, which makes it more than a copy. It makes it actually a counterfeit. And I'm not a fan of counterfeiting. I think they should come up with their own name and their own logo and make the design a little more distinctive. It's a shame that Rick can't get a licensing agreement with these Chinese manufacturers and produce something with higher quality standards it would benefit all players. Now we're going to the Rick for some sounds. That whine you hear in the background is the fan of the ancient 1969 SVT. All these Ricks, as you see, are equipped with the Zero Mod thumb rest. As a fingerstyle player, I find it to be a real boon to the Rick. You can check out the website, ZeroMod.com, or look for us on eBay or BestBaseGear.com and find these really cool thumb rests. There's also special no modifications thumb rests for Fender Jazz Bass, Music Man Stingray Bass, and Fender Precision Bass available. All right, your classic Rick sounds. Neck pickup. Here's the China Backer. Another interesting note the China Backer does not have Rico sound. The double jack system, which enables you to get each pickup individually, it has a standard both pickups together output, which is certainly fine for most people. I 
ordered this china backer in a rather demented shade of green. They do come in some very crazy colors. Okay, neck pickup. is much more mid-rangey, more barky, and I think that's because of those huge pole pieces. Okay, let's recap some of the things to look for in a china backer that you may have to adjust to get proper playability. First off, the nut on this china backer was cut nowhere near deep enough to, for proper playability. The strings were way too high off the first fret. You may have to bring your string slots down quite a bit. You may find your pickups are wired out of phase. You may find your pots are wired Gibson Les Paul style instead of wired like the pots would be in a Rickenbacker bass. And you may find that your bridge has no radius. It's set dead flat, and you need a radius to match the radius of the fingerboard. So you'll add a shim beneath the D and A saddles to get yourself a radius.
different. It's, it's almost not, I, you, know, you can't really do it. You can't really do a direct comparison. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can look for Zero Mod products at www.zero-mod.com. Screen right now.